Do you think you have what it takes to be a manager? No, you don't. As a manager, you must lead your team through various projects. Can you prevent your project from failing due to scope creep, poor requirement gathering, unrealistic scheduling, lack of resources? Yes, exactly. As a manager that you want to be, you would need to know what work breakdown structure is. Work breakdown structure is a tool used to identify all work that needs to be done, work structure and individual responsibility, and this is used to organize the teamwork into manageable sections. By doing so, it can boost productivity, transparency, accountability, and help in progress monitoring. Now, how do you create a work breakdown structure? There are two formats a work breakdown structure can be presented in which is hierarchical levels, numbering sequence. Once you know what format you want it to be in, you will need to list out the major elements, tasks, and deliverables. This can be obtained from the project charter or scope statement. Next, we identify the subtasks. Identify the elements within the subtasks such as manpower, materials, venue for the task completion. Congratulations! You have just completed the work breakdown structure. Ha! No, there is still a lot more to learn. As a manager, you must be aware that a project involves a large number of people, often from different departments, functions, and divisions. As a manager, you are required to manage and not complete the work on your own. In this regard, a tool you can use is called a responsibility matrix. Responsibility matrix is a tool used to define the responsibility of individual work elements and deliverables of a person in the organization. A way to implement responsibility matrix is the RESIC method. RESIC, not RESIS. RESIC which stands for R for responsible, A for approve, S for support, I for inform, and C for consult. The purpose of employing the RESIC method to ensure the all tasks are assigned to people that involved in a project. Second, show levels of involvement of people to work. Third, define the responsibility for each member in every task or work package. Four, to identify early on which departmental roles or individuals will be assigned to complete certain categories of activities. And lastly, Define the extent of responsibility and the relationships among groups.